Well, here Thursday morning, October 27th, the new footings for the Ace Hardware building in Acton are going in. This is a unique cement pour in that it's poured up so high because the flood uh, has an area that it's in. You can see that the footings are a good four feet above uh, grade here, and that's because <coughs> The Santa Clara River is right over here to the right, the other side of the railroad track. This is interesting in that they, the pour is the footings and also the slab or the floor all at the same time. Well, as a contractor, John, this has got to be a happy day after all this work. It is. It's a it's a very happy day. We've uh, worked long and hard and and uh, very diligent to get to this point. But uh, it's good. It feels good. You know. I mean, uh, all this work is paying off, and couldn't have picked a better day to pour. You know, it's nice and cool, and so it's going to cure very well. And, sure. Yeah, sure. Now the uh, footings there. Uh, you don't see on most buildings, these are elevated. And yeah, there's about four foot down on the ground that you don't see, and then there's five foot up for the flood. This is kind of the end of a flood plain, uh -huh. so it's higher than normal. I see. So uh, we're gonna end up being about three and a half feet out of the ground after we're done. Uh-huh, and then you were saying that this fill uh, around the edge, uh, you're gonna push that back up so it doesn't look so Elevated. Yeah, it won't look so metrosalous, but it, it will definitely uh, dress it up nice when we get these forms off. We'll come back through here and, and we'll uh, grade it and we'll bring it back up to where it's supposed to be. It'll, it'll be rough grading at this point, but yeah, but, uh, yeah we're going to fill it in and you'll see about three and a half feet of concrete wall uh -huh. up to the finished slab, uh -huh. but that's about all you'll see. Good, and uh, estimated completion date? Oh, that's what everybody wants to know. I know. Uh, you don't know what Mother Nature is going to no, do. No, we're, we're going to get through the rainy season here, and, and so, uh, but we're hoping that that uh, end of January, uh -huh. 1st of February, we should be able to uh -huh. be getting close to opening up. For the owner, this has got to be the a happy day for a project like this. Oh, it's a great day. Just a great day to see all this work going on and getting that much closer. Uh huh. And uh, if if you had a magic wand, when practically would you be looking at an opening? Right now, we're looking at a soft opening of February 14th. Okay. So Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. We have all the roses for the for the lovely one. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good. That'll be good. And uh, how long have you been working on this project? Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, from, from the very beginning, it's probably right at three years right now. I so, see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, uh, certainly the uh, residents of Acton Aguadosi are going to appreciate the convenience of uh, being able to get. Uh, yeah, and you know, that's, that's our goal. We want to make sure we're going to support everything that they want and need. And, you know, Jamie and I have been to a lot of classes and we just had a meeting our ace people yesterday and you know we're just, we've set up a schedule of when we're going to start stocking and hiring and sure. all that so we're looking forward to it. How many jobs uh, will? We're looking at at the beginning we're looking at six em uh, employees plus Jamie and I. Uh-huh. Six new jobs for six the area. Jobs, yes. Uh-huh well best of luck congratulations you picked a beautiful day oh, so. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Hi. Whoa. 
Well, that's a pretty snazzy, attractive hard hat. I've never seen a pigment like that. We have a couple of us girls out here. We have three drivers out here in the valley that are females. Really? Yeah, I think I'm the only one with the peak hat, though. <laughs> That's what we do at Arrow. Uh -huh. We've been with Arrow for about eight years. Eight years? Yeah, I've been driving with them for a while. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We're small, but we're mighty. And okay, we're small but mighty. But now, why do you like driving cement trucks? Uh, it gets me out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> this unit you've got here, this remote control model airplane unit, right. what does that really do? This uh, controls all the sections of the boom pump, uh, up and down, uh, volume of concrete. Uh, and just places the concrete where, where the finishers need it. Versus a trailer pump where you pull around the concrete hose. Right. Uh, this here is pretty much just a two-man operation. How fast can you uh, pour out a truck? I can do a truck in about four minutes. Gee. <laughs> <laughs>